Hey, what's happening? Anthony with Metal Miners. Man, I want to do a quick video uh, to participate in the celebration for Cody and I's friend, Mr. Johnny Mack from Rock and Metal Plus. Uh, Cody and myself, man, we just love the dude, you know. Uh, he's over 500 subs now. I've been waiting a little bit to do his 500 sub uh, celebration contest because a bunch of other guys are having contests now, so he held up a little bit. He's up on for past 540 something now, probably over 550. I haven't checked today, but uh, just announced his uh, contest and already a bunch of guys jumping in. So I had a few minutes this afternoon and I wanted to get in on it, man. So in the background, uh, we're going to be listening to some death metal, some underground death metal from Chile. Two piece frozen blood with revenge. Uh, this one's out in 2023. This is a uh, frozen screens version. Dry cough did a version. Uh, several different uh, underground labels have done cassette and CD versions of this. Uh, just great stuff if you haven't heard of Frozen Blood. There it is. But the contest, that's what we want to talk about. Johnny wanted us to uh, uh, come in and show five albums or five bands, uh, however you want to slice it, uh, that got us into uh, the music that we listen to today. Uh, Johnny actually showed uh, like a band or an album for each genre that he's into today. I'm just going to show you five, uh, since I'm almost a dinosaur, I'm just going to show you five bands and an album from each band, not necessarily the uh, my favorite or the ones that I listened to the most back in those days. I just pulled out which ones were convenient. Uh, but five bands that were really influential in my youth to uh, get me in to heavier music, you know, um, where I'm at today. So without further ado, and then five shout outs at the end, we'll do those. Uh, without further ado, let's jump into it. Oh man, as a kid growing up, my mother had a uh, home stereo that actually looked like a piece of furniture. It was a fine uh, wooden cabinet that you couldn't tell was a stereo till you opened it up and then it had a tuner, uh, eight track player and a turntable, actually a record changer down at the bottom if you remember those, you know you stack 45s on there and it would change them. But uh, man I used to play Kiss and just play Kiss and play Kiss. Had all the solo albums, had all the Kiss stuff on the vinyl. Uh, just love these guys. Um, can't go wrong with Kiss. This one is, uh, I'm not going to look up the date. These are all, all these albums are from the late 70s. 70, 70 uh, well I say I won't look it up. I don't know, this one's probably 77, 79, something like that. Kiss Love Gun uh, that launched me into heavier music. Uh, then I uh, stumbled on these guys, Van Halen. I've always been a guitar enthusiast. I've always just been mesmerized by guitar sound, electric guitar. Just It just draws me in and captivates me. And Eddie Van Halen uh, did it like no other could at the time. Uh, just great stuff. Van Halen. Speaking of guitar players, uh, Billy Gibbons has always been one of my favorites. Uh, Jimi Hendrix uh, even spoke highly of uh, Billy Gibbons' abilities with the guitar. Just an awesome guitar player, an awesome human being in my opinion. And ZZ Top is an awesome band. This is Duvuelo. Came out in the late 70s. ZZ Top. This one needs no introduction. ACDC was very much a part of uh, my growing up. It was the soundtrack of my youth, if you will. Uh, I love these guys. Uh, I love the Bon Scott era of ACDC. I love the later, I love every 
thing ACDC's ever done, man. Uh, Brian Johnson is just... Who don't love ACDC, man? One of my favorite bands of all time. And since I am a Southern man, was a Southern kid at the time, we were raised on Leonard Skinner's, man. We were raised on Skinner's. I uh, love Skinner. Actually, my, my parents never really listened to music, but uh, if you turned on the radio uh, in North Florida in the late 70s, you heard Leonard Skinner. Leonard Skinner ain't from Alabama, baby. Leonard Skinner is from Jacksonville, Florida. Um, this one's nothing fancy. There's the guys there. Uh, <laughs> Yes, indeed, man. You just got to love them. You got to love them. Uh, this one is, uh, let's see, 1975. Uh, this is two years before the plane crashed. Of course, if you're not familiar, a uh, plane crashed over uh, out of Macomb, Mississippi. Uh, went down and killed Ronnie Van Zant. Uh, killed. Steve Gaines and his sister who sang back, back up Cassie uh, killed the uh, pilot and the co-pilot as well uh, and uh, that kind of changed everything uh, for Skinner but um, man just we raised up with these guys love them love them to this day Leonard Skinner now five shout outs uh, no particular order, Renee from Spain, Hospa Metal, is one of the guys I watched when I first started watching YouTube videos, Renee, man, just a great guy, Metal Viking 82, Ryan, I think Ryan lives up in Indiana, uh, puts out a lot of material, is a big supporter of the scene up in that part of the world, great guy, check Ryan out if you haven't, uh, Death Metal Podcast. Uh, man, I can't. I drew a blank on his name. I want to say it's Ray. He, he's got Necro Harmonic uh, Underground Record Label. He's been in the scene for over 30 years or right at 30 years. I mean, he's a, a legend. Death Metal Podcast. Uh, be on most platforms, but it's on YouTube, I know. Uh, check him out. Here's a new young lady. Uh, kind of a strange title up here. I don't know. Uh, I got an M there. That's supposed to be an N. Lauren Michelle. I can't write. Uh, I just call her Lauren. Go check her out. I'll put a link in the description below. Young girl just starting out. Um, just, she needs some love, man. Uh, she needs some, some subs. She needs some of these older guys to come in and uh, show her the ropes. Uh, great young blood in the vinyl community that's what we need Lauren Michelle the ninth circle go check Bill out if you haven't cool dude man uh, uh, older guy you know not old as me of course I, I think I am the antique of the vinyl community man it won't be long I'll be getting the handicap parking at Walmart you know get up front Already can get that senior's discount on the coffee at McDonald's. Thank y'all, man. I appreciate it. Uh, go check out my man, Johnny Mac. If you haven't, give him a sub. Check out some of these channels, man. And if you're a, a younger guy and you hadn't heard of some of these bands, man, go check you out some Southern Rock. Check you out some Skinner, some Molly Hatchet, some 38 Special, some stuff like that, man. Some uh, You'll see where... Uh, us old southern boys got those guitar sounds from ACDC Down Under Gang, man, you know the deal. ZZ Top, three-piece band out of Texas, been killing it since way back in the day. Bluesy, uh, I mean, just excellent stuff. Of course, uh, Dusty died last year, but the band's still uh, moving on. ZZ Top, Chiguelo, Van Halen, Eddie Van Halen, uh, Alex Van Halen, Diamond Day, and Mark Anthony on bass. Killer music, man. And of course, the originators of the Corpse Bank, 
kids, man. Every kid in the neighborhood, well, I didn't live in the neighborhood. We lived way out in the country, man, but uh, we would have to come to town like for Halloween to go trick-or-treating, and man, we all dressed up like kids, brother. We we all dressed up like kids. Of course, I always liked Peter Chris the best, man, but you gotta love these guys. Johnny, see you at a thousand, brother. Won't be long. Have a great day.